Hello! In this video I will tell you all about VFD tubes, how they work and how to connect them to a microcontroller like an Arduino. VFD is an acronym for Vacuum Fluorescent Display. This kind of display was very common in the 70s until the 90s of the last century and was widely used in many electronic devices like pocket calculators, consumer electronics or dash panels. Nowadays LCDs or OLED displays are used instead, but VFDs still live in self-made retro gadgets like my pendulum clock. I prefer them over Nixie tubes because VFDs need a much lower anode voltage, so it is much safer and easier to tinker with them. They are also cheaper than Nixies and I personally like the turquoise color. I got a set of 6 tubes on eBay because this is the number of tubes you need to display hours, minutes and seconds. These big 7 segment tubes were made in USSR in the 1970s until 1990s, but there are still big stocks available and so I got them for under 20 bucks. Let us now have a closer look on such a tube. I increased the filament voltage a little, above the nominal 1.5V, so you can recognize it by its glow. The filament also serves as cathode. The most obvious parts are the 7 segments, whereas every segment is a separate anode. With a voltage of 25V between the filament and the respective anodes, you can so compose a number or some letters. For example, to get the number 4, you must put a positive voltage on pin 7, 6, 4 and 3. It works a bit like a CRT. The electrons emitted by the cathode fly to the anodes and make the luminescent coating of the segments emit light. So you can also see the control grid between the filament and the anodes. With zero or negative voltage, the electrons are kept away from the anode, while positive voltages let the electrons pass. So you can switch the whole tube on or off. This feature is used for multiplexing. Now the question is, how can we drive the segments with an MCU like Arduino when we need 25V anode voltage? We can simply achieve this with two transistors. When the MCU puts a low level on T2, the transistor blocks and so turns T1 on. This means that the segment will also be activated. When on the other hand the MCU puts high level on T2, T1 will block and turn the segment off. In other words, this circuit inverts the input level of the microcontroller. But that's no problem if you invert the microcontroller's output byte. But the real disadvantage is however, that you have to solder at least 14 transistors for one tube. Fortunately, there is an IC which perfectly fulfills this task. The TBD62783 is a transistor array with 8 channels. The input channel can directly be wired to the digital outputs of the microcontroller and the open emitter outputs directly to the tube's anodes. The Arduino sketch is quite simple. A byte array assigns the values to a bit pattern, which is then written to the respective output pins. I tacked everything together on a breadboard and loaded a script that simply counts up from 0 to 15. That's amazing! But how can I control more than one tube at the same time? I could of course wire a transistor array and 7 outputs of the microcontroller to every tube. You can imagine that a clock with 6 tubes needs 42 IOs then. And that's where the control grids join the game. Remember that pulling the grids to ground turns the tube off, while positive anode voltages turns it on. So we can use the gates to control the tubes in a way that only one tube is active at a time. Like the anodes, the grids can also be easily driven by a transistor array. The anodes are connected in parallel, that means that the microcontroller shifts out the numbers one after the other. Due to the control of the grids, the numbers are only displayed on their assigned tube, one after the other. We call this multiplexing. You can consider to place a 40-17 decimal counter in front of the transistor array. 
Because this configuration only needs one I.O. port for the clock, you can use the I.O.s dedicated for grid control for other tasks. You can control up to 10 VFD tubes with this circuit. If you like this video, please give it a thumb up and when you are interested in this or other projects, feel free to subscribe to my channel, enable notifications and you will never miss anything. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Take care.